The deadly shooting marked the fourth homicide in the last two months here at this troubled complex. In the meantime, one witness who saw her friend get killed once the security guard who pulled the trigger overnight held accountable. Just after midnight, police were called to Brentwood Drive after a witness tells us a security guard shot a woman sitting in the front seat of her car. He never said, get out the car, put your hands up, freeze. He just flashed the light and he just shot in the car. Liberty Carnell claims she was in the back seat when her friend, Natasia Williams, was shot in the chest. That's literally the only friend I got and I never, I never be able to talk to her no more. Following the shooting, the security guard's car was lit on fire. Police confirmed that guard was not associated with law enforcement. In fact, the suspect had previously been charged with impersonating police, leading some to wonder why he was allowed to work security. He unloaded rounds into her vehicle on his own recognizance. He shouldn't have been here at all. He had no place here. Back in June, Zaire Heron was shot to death in the same complex, followed a week later by another killing that claimed the life of Ronald Morris. And in July, Sean Hicks was gunned down also on Brentwood. In the last three years, at least eight homicides have taken place in the half-vacant town and terrace complex. That's why some community members have repeatedly called for the property to be demolished. It's a magnet for criminal activity, and I believe it still needs to be torn down. On Friday, armed members of the Black Panther Party gathered at the scene where candles spelled out the victim's name and calls for justice were made. He just murdered somebody that I talk to every day for no reason at all. The city and homeowners at this property have been locked in a legal fight since 2013. The city acquired more than 100 units as part of a long-term demolition plan, but that's been put on hold by a court order. Jesse Wells, CBS4 News.